Welcome back to Architect School. I'm Malay Cardoza and I have been an architect for 12 years. And for this episode, we'll be watching architecture in Filipino movies. We will be traveling to different parts of the Philippines. Taiwan. Excuse me. Hi. Gabby? Gab? Yeah. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hello. In Milan. We'll travel to Rome. In Venice, Italy. Our first movie was shot in Philippines. The first movie we have here is titled One More Chance. In this scene, Bea Alonso is seen taking a photo of the modern residential house. This house was designed using a modern concept. Meaning, it moves away from classical architecture, away from the Mediterranean, away from Greek or Roman architecture, and used clean architectural lines, straight balusters, and railings that are black in color to have a contrast with the primary white color, the use of glass windows, aluminum window frames, it used this corner glass window design which is a very modern architectural design element. It also used a lot of white paint which are very similar to the designs of modern architecture front runners like Richard Mayer. Shown here are examples of Richard Mayer's works mostly painted in white. The Stuttgart Residences in Germany, Getty Center in Los Angeles, Orchard Hill in New York, USA. The house also used a deck type roofing instead of the common gable roof that you always see in the Philippines. Deck roofing are much more expensive than gable roofing but are more useful as an area for socializing and having a look at your surrounding area. This house used modern entrance doors that are made of solid wood and has glass panels to provide lighting and to show if someone is at the doorsteps. Sabi na mami mo nandito ka rin. In this scene, the background building is the main building of University of Santo Tomas in Manila. The main building was completed in the year 1927 and was designed by Father Roque Uwanyo. It was designed using the Renaissance style of architecture. The building is generally made of concrete, having its concrete brackets, its clock tower, statues of saints, and the facade of the building measures 74 meters. Isinusulat ko ang gunitang ito sa hangaring bigyan ng liwanag ang mga yugto ng ating kasaysayan na nasa panganib na makalimutan. The next movie is titled El Presidente about the story of President Emilio Aguinaldo during the Spanish and American War with the Philippines.
The scene of the movie was shot in Las Casas, Filipinas, the Acuzar in Bagak, Bataan, Philippines. Most of the buildings here has Spanish colonial era architecture. Most of them are like the Bahay na Bato, houses that are typical in places like Ilocos, Laguna, Cavite, Bulacan, Manila, and other places in the Philippines that are influenced by the Spaniards. This scene was shot in Paseo de Escolta, a reminder of the street of Escolta in the early 1900s. Our next building shown in the movie is the Casa Hidalgo. Casa Hidalgo was designed by Felix Rojas Arroyo. This house was built in 1867 and was originally located in Quiapo, Manila and was dismantled and transferred to Las Casas in Bataan. The building features these adobe stone walls, this colonnade made of stones, capiz shell sliding windows, ionic columns at the wall of the second floor, and used clay roof tiles. Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. We can see this scene where the Katipuneros are having an election for the leaders during the liberation of the Philippines. This element here is called the running dog pattern or the Vitruvian scroll, named after the Roman architect Marcus Vitruvius Polio. The author of the 10 books on architecture, considered as the oldest book on architectural theory. The running dog pattern can also be found in different parts of the world, like in ancient sites in Antioch in Syria and Um Ur Rasas in Jordan. Another architectural element shown here are the Ionic columns. This style of column came from the ancient Greeks and was first used around the 6th century BC more than 2,000 years ago. They also used this capiz shell sliding window, very typical of the Bahay na Bato. This next scene here is showing President Emilio Aguinaldo riding a chariot towards the Barasuain Church in Malolos, Bulacan. This church was completed in 1888, around 133 years ago. Barasuain Church was very historical because it was the site of the proclamation of the Malolos Constitution of the Philippines. It was called the site of the first Philippine Republic. It was also printed in the Philippine 10 peso bank note. Next stop, we travel to Taiwan. Excuse me. Hi. Gabby? Gab? Yeah. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hello. Our next movie was shot in Jufen, Taiwan. This movie is titled All of You. This scene was shot in a restaurant named City of Sadness, Little Shanghai Tea Restaurant in Jufen, Taiwan. The name City of Sadness was taken from a movie also titled City of Sadness, a 1989 Taiwanese film. Jufen, Taiwan is also suspected to be the location of the 2001 animation film Spirit of the Way. Jufen is a mountain area in an old gold mining town in Taiwan, very much like Baguio in the Philippines. The restaurant's architectural character is of Chinese traditional architecture, and the elements shown here are Chinese wood lattice. It was used at the railings and as a design element for the ceiling. These designs are very commonly seen in traditional Chinese wood houses. The restaurant also used wooden balusters, wooden tables, steel purlins, and steel posts but are painted dark brown to look like wood. The flooring was made of orange clay terracotta tiles. 
They also put these red Chinese lanterns. In Chinese culture, it is used to symbolize joy and good fortune. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Thank you for watching Architects Tour. I hope you enjoyed our episode for today. If you have any buildings in your mind, any type of architecture, please write in the comments section below. And please don't forget to click share, like, and subscribe because it helps you to make more videos about architecture, buildings, and different kinds of structure.